What do you have, ladies and gentlemen? Today, we're going to do some painting. I'm going to teach you uh, what I've learned about painting so far. Um, and, um, yeah, we'll see all the different possibilities there. And we'll go through it. So, let's get started. Alright, you have a paintbrush. And if you want to see all of his options, you press R. And that brings up the radial menu. And you get all these guys. This one brings up your current materials, and at the moment I just kind of spawned in, and we only have these uh, different, very simple ones. And, yeah, there are not very many, um, but then we have all these other wooden ones and stuff, and those all come in these different books that you have. And, um, yeah, that's basically that. We need to just check out a few things. So, the faux one uh, is just in the, this particular material group. Um, so we want to probably read that guy. Let's see which one uh, that is, because I am curious. Faux. Okay. So it's all like bricks and grass and stuff like that. That's actually be kind of cool. For my painting that I did there, I didn't realize there was grass. Instead I used uh, the camo block for my seashore, or well, lake shore right there. That's, uh, that's what that is. It's our trees and shrubs. Yes. These are some vertical trees, and this is some mountains, some wispy clouds up there, and some big trees on the side, because I was brave like certain Ross told me to be. So, masonry, um, I would have thought this one would have been some of those bricks and stuff, but apparently it includes different stones and stuff. That'll be pretty nice for people who want to paint. You know, the sides of mountains. This is a, probably a good one with some of this for like rocks, rock slides and stuff. Yeah, cool. So, I don't know. Does it say? Oh, okay. Painting decorations. One group decorations. Okay. So that's how this works. Decorations, decorations, metal. So I guess you can come here and you can see which different um, ones you want, like if you had a book, you'd need to know which book you wanted to get. So now you can see, just by going here, wooden roofing, wooden roofing, yeah. And like this one was masonry, this one is faux. Okay, so that's awesome. So let's just finish reading all these books. So if you want to do art, I mean it's pretty difficult to do something like an entire landscape, but you can do it, um, and it's pretty simple. On default, when you use the paintbrush, it just does one side, so we're going to turn this one into an oven. So I can copy this block, and I can sh select the paint all the sides, and we can paint a new block. If you want to get paint all sides off, then you're going to want to just select the normal paintbrush again. Copy block, texture picker. So I think what we can do with this one is we can hit texture picker and that one will let us now paint. Yeah, just like that. And you can um, you erase just by using your uh, left mouse button. And boom, erased. To do erasing of one single side. And you need your paintbrush selected. Like you need to go into here Select paintbrush if you wanted to do only erase one side of a fully painted block. So that's how that is done. Okay, so this is another thing you can do. You get to copy the entire block, which then um, allows you to make. If you have you know blocks in your inventory, you can then uh, take your blocks and basically once they're painted, you can put down texture blocks that are like that. So. That's cool. So now we have the one I did and uh, one I did even earlier. Because you can, so you can store a whole bunch of these guys in your inventory. So if we want uh, this guy here, we go and copy block, and boom, we have a third one now in our inventory. That's purple. So that is can be incredibly useful if you're doing certain things with your painting and base building. Okay guys, the other one we have here is replace paint. And that one, it says the next painted texture will be replaced with the current prefab or selection. Uh, what? What does that mean? Well, basically it just gets the 
paint to be the what's the base of the particular block you're looking at. So as you can tell, that one was stone, that one's wood. But you wouldn't really be able to tell by the way it's painted, right? So you can use your paintbrush to kind of reveal what it is. Sort of the same way you can erase the textures on them. Um, I don't know what exactly the intent of this one is, but yeah. You can definitely use it to see what they are. Here's a prefab that is made out of metal. I erased this one a couple minutes ago, and it's obviously metal. This one, metal. What are these ones? Let's see. Oh, metal, yeah. Obviously they're metal, like the rest of this place. Signs don't seem to uh, change. I don't know what's up with that. The base, that's just brick. So it's a stone-based thing. As a base block, we can smash it, and that's what we have. And yeah, like those ones look, they're metal. Um, so that's what that uh, tool does. Not entirely sure what it's fully good for, other than revealing what they were, but time will tell. Okay, so another odd thing you can do is just sort of erase things that are like from a uh, prefab and stuff, which is kind of weird to me. Texture picker, we did that one. You can paint stairs, and I think you get some really weird effects if you kind of do like paint on one side. You can do, for example, like you'll only get one side of it or one angle of it. Yeah, so you can do some really cool interesting things like that. And um, yeah, but then if you want to do the whole block, of course, once again, you pick the whole block, boom, and then you get all the surfaces, right? Which is kind of cool, kind of useful. Okay, guys, so to craft all these things, I've set up a little bit of a temporary base in here. I've changed the front, as you could tell, uh, with painting and putting blocks in, using some of the techniques I've shown. And so also included these little cool jail doors, which are new to be built. And we have our different chem station here to produce these things. Uh, this paintbrush and the actual paint. The paintbrush is done by two wood and one animal hide. So that's how you get a freshly made paintbrush. And the paint is done by one carthanthanum, one cotton, one goldenrod, and one bottle of murky water to produce that. And I just got a whole bunch of them, so I'm going to make a bunch of these things in the to, uh, the chem station. So to make a paintbrush, you just, you know, you can just craft it right on yourself. And yeah, it's level 25. Why is it level 25? Because it uses toolsmithing. So we're going to go up another level, and we're going to try it again, just to show that this indeed does make a better one. See? 50. So that's how you make better paintbrushes with your tool crafting. So, now in the chem station, we this is where we make our paint, and one, 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 one will take about 22 seconds. It should produce 50 at the moment, as of build 113, which is out. I did check again in 119, and that uh, seems to still be the case. So we'll see if they change this in, in, a, in stable. But yeah, there it is. And I gifted myself a bunch. And I'm gonna make a whole bunch more, just because. But it takes a heck of a long time to produce this much paint. So yeah, I would just sort of let that run and go. Anyways, back to painting. What else to show you? So let's go big. Or go home, right? That's, that's the thing. We have some nice walls. I kind of fixed this one up. Doesn't really matter for your canvas all that much. I need to go into a little bit of flying mode here. There we go. Okay, so as we know, uh, we take, you know, if you were to do like a nice painting here, uh, you would want to do something like this, right? So let's say we want to take our, our nice concrete blue and we just kind of want to you know, start going along the top and just sort of, you know, dragging it out. Nice little strokes with your brush. Just want to get a nice color going on on your entire thing here. That's pretty good. It works all right. Working your way across the top of the canvas here, right? But next thing we want to do, perhaps, is 
do things a little bit quicker. So we want to take our roller. And now this does more blocks. And so that looks like it's three by three. And we just go right across the canvas, sploshing it down. And that works pretty well. And then if you want to do even bigger, you can use the spray gun. To me, sometimes I get confused with the airbrush. I don't know, just the way it is. But it's it's a spray can, so you're just like mass spraying things. So this one does a huge area, right? Like an enormous area. You have to be very careful when you're painting with this one because you will paint things all over the place. There we go. So there's your nice background, right? And then so that's basically how that all works. Let's try to paint this little guy here. All right, so what I'm going to do is take some nice drywall ceiling white. I'm going to change my brush down to the simple paintbrush. And I'm just going to go one, two, three, four by what is that? Uh, see, it paints such an enormous space, like, I don't even think I can get this whole thing on here. No, it's already going to be too big. Oh, maybe we'll add some more stuff to the top here. Yeah, let's do that instead. And then we're going to want some, uh, some nice black granite. this up a bit. Um, we want to go like that. Yeah, sometimes you need to be very careful on how you paint all these guys in here, but uh, it's generally not too bad. We are most certainly going to have to make more space on our canvas here. That's okay. I don't mind. I do not mind. Okay, this is a tricky one.
Oh no, the pattern is slightly screwed up. Okay, now we're going to pick our wood texture. How about rough cut wood? I think this will be a good one. And we just sort of dab it onto the paint here and put it in here like this. That's not bad. And uh, then, how do we go here? This one, that one. That one, that one, that one. Pretty cool, you have a large range. You can just kind of paint from, oh, I don't know how far you could actually paint from, to be honest. Yeah, don't think that's working. <laughs> I'd be surprised if it was, but yeah, not quite that high, which is good, because that would be ridiculous. All right, we want a little bit of uh, maybe storage crate. Put some of that in here. It's another good color, That's what we want. And uh, then we want some nice kind of foresty green color. So I don't know if we need concrete green. Yeah, let's go with concrete green. Concrete green is like a good one, so put a little bit of color onto this little canvas here. See what we can do with it. And up there. And uh, that's pretty good for this so far. Now then, for one of the final parts. Need our a little bit more of the granite black. Let's see here. We need one space, so over here. And then this one goes out from there, two, over one, over one more. And we just bring it on up. On this side, we want to go over two again. And up one. Up one, and we want to bring that up, I believe. Yeah, we want to bring that up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep, that looks right. And then we want to leave 
one space here and I want to put in this little mouth going on here uh, which will be uh, right here and over 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 up there then we need a little bit of some eyes happening here and one two three and we need that to go up three above this eye keep bringing the paint all the way up to the top of your canvas there we go and we want to go out and up three over one Add a little bit of the uh, spikiness. You know, if you're brave, just kind of go all the way up. Bring it back down. One more. And right there. Great. On this side, we want to go out and up four. Space. Um, this doesn't have to be perfect, but uh, you know, it's coming along, so. Oh, my canvas isn't quite tall enough. But that's alright. We doesn't need to go all the way to the top. And I bet a nice squirrel would like to just kind of cuddle up near, like in the base of the pot there, or maybe cuddle up in his little arms or something of our little woodland friend here. I think uh, I think that would be a fun little thing for a squirrel to do. Yeah. We just want to drag the paint all around, bringing it from the top down to the bottom. Just click on one and drag it down or over. Sometimes it will paint this block beside it if you get the timing right and or wrong, so be careful when you're painting. some nice browns right above the mouth here there we go and our masterpiece should be complete now I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you found it useful. If you did, give a like. If you want more content like this, give me a subscribe. If you also think other people might find this interesting, give it a share. Um, with that, uh, if you have any questions, ask them in the comments. I'll tell you what I know. I'm still learning about painting myself. Um, if it's a couple months down the road, well, I'm not sure how things have changed. I might by then. I probably will. Uh, yeah, just let me know. And, um, yeah, with that, I hope to use some of this painting for some really cool things in my Let's Plays that are coming up for this season. So, you know, stay tuned for those. Those should be hopefully pretty awesome. 
And yeah, check out some more of my videos. And with that, I will simply say, see you guys in the next video. Thanks. Bye.